Hey everybody, welcome into Bayou Time. Harry McCulley here. It's uh, road race season, and one of the biggest ones coming up, as always, is the Super Cooper race that happens, and John Fontenot is the Cooper Life Fund uh, is here. Elmi Savoy, Foundation for Terrible and General Health Systems Executive Director is here. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is one of our big, big races that's happens here, and, and it's a it's a great fundraiser. Uh, 15 years now, John? This will be our 16th. We've, 16 we've completed wow. 15. That's incredible. So tell me a little bit about the race, the origins, and, and where we're going from here. So as mentioned, this is our 16th year. Uh, Super Cooper uh, was named after our second son, Cooper, was born in 2004. He had a heart condition, uh, had to have open heart surgery, went through a lot his first year of life, and uh, we were blessed that he was able to come home with us, and, and now he's 17 years old, living a a life like any 17 year old would playing sports and, and so on. And uh, so after the first year, we really realized how blessed we were. So we wanted to find a way to do something to help others in similar situations. So we formed uh, Cooper Life Fund, which is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. And our first event was called the Super Cooper 5K. Now the reason it's called the Super Cooper 5K is because the nurses nicknamed Cooper, Super Cooper. When he, whenever he was in yeah. the hospital recovering, because we were supposed to be there six weeks or so after recovery, we went home at like three and a half. So um, he just kept healing, wow. yeah, very resilient. So the first 5K, um, so the event, we called it the Super Cooper 5K. And um, we wanted to, our first event in Homa was in 07, and we wanted to give uh, back to um, those families whose babies are born so sick that they can't go home. Mama gets to go home, but the baby can't. So we approached uh, Terrible and General and uh, the Women's Center and said we'd like to offer our race proceeds to you, and we'd like to work together to help the families with their babies going into the NICU. And 16 years later, here we are. <laughs> but but what, what a great story, though, you know, yeah. that, uh, and, and I'm sure he's probably walking around going, yeah, this is, this is my race, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's so cool that he's 17 and he's yes. been here and, and doing such a, a good job. This is a, this is a, a burden for families, all right, that, that anybody's coming in, it's tough, you know, and, but to have support like this, I know that's probably people that are all running in this race all probably have a somewhere in their orbit they have something like this that they remember somebody from the NICU so what's it like from from terrible in general's stock so first of all I want to tell John thank you very much for your continued support of our NICU program um, they have been tremendous uh, I mean tremendous supporters of the program and of our nurses we have um, you know like he said one of the hardest things as a parent is to not be able to take your little one home you know and so mm -hmm. the stress associated with that and the fund that actually the um the race supports actually helps those parents i mean most of them um a lot of them are actually you know, the, the babies are born prematurely and um so they have oxygen issues and there's weight issues obviously i mean you have some that are like literally just right. three three pounds and they're so tiny and um you know, this is actually to help those parents um, ease some of the burdens associated with having a premature baby. Um, the benefit of, you know, Terrebonne General is the only level three um, NICU program in this region. You know, you have to go to New Orleans if you have someone. Mm -hmm. So it's the, the idea that it's here locally available for our parents is actually um, just a benefit to our community. Yeah, and, and like I said, I, I think this is one of those deals, it's like cancer, like anything else, until it happens close to you, you mm -hmm. know, and I've had two friends last 10 years, they've had children in NICU, and I'm like, what's NICU stand for? Right. I, I, don't, I don't even know. <laughs> and, and then you start reading about it, you're, and then you, they send you pictures of the little guys or girls, and it, it's amazing the work we can do now. Yes, and, and it's, and, it's, and it's not folks. only... You know, it's not only the support we give them, whether it's items that they, that they need that they weren't prepared for, or gas cars to allow them to drive around back and forth from home to the hospital. Right. Um, it's also the emotional support. And, and that's something that we didn't know we were gonna be able to offer. Mm -hmm. A lot of families feel like they're on an island. Mm -hmm. When their baby's in the NICU and they have to go home and, and they, they can't see their baby sometimes for days, depending on the situation, it's good to know they've expressed to us over the years that it's good to know that they're not alone. Um, others have been through it and uh, successfully, you know, come out successful and, and 
their babies have been grown grown to be um, you know boys and girls and young men and women and uh, so it's not only the physical aspect is the emotional aspect oh, as well. Yeah, yeah no, no, what I, I like I say, and in most people childbearing age, <laughs> <Yeah>. younger, <laughs> younger folks, right? That's right. And don't know what's going on, so it's interesting. So over $191,000 yes. collected Absolutely. over the years. That's amazing. Where, where was this going? So what we've just been talking about? Uh, yes. I can, yeah. I yeah, can go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. That one. You're just we writing have, a check. She's sorry. spending the money. <laughs> we, um, we actually, one of the great things, actually, one of the comments that you just made, John, about you know, leaving the baby and not, and sometimes you can't see the baby all the time, your baby. So we have, they were, the fund actually provided um, the Nick View too, which is a live video feed camera to be able to allow the parents to see the baby. And um, that's, you know, it's at least giving them some little bit of hope and, you know, to be able to see and feel um, a bond with the baby, especially since they may not be able, some babies you can't hold them initially, you right. know, because of, the, because of their condition. Um, so it's, this is just one of the many ways of, um, that we've used the money. And then actually, I'm gonna show you what we have. We, this is a care package that we put together right. for the parents and it has um, diapers and they have um, this wonderful little book in the inside. It's actually personalized with a little note from John, Ashley and Cooper and their family. Oh, so it's so really cool. thoughtful. And then of course there's gift cards in here for like, like John has said about um, for, for gas. Sometimes, well, you know, the parents may need something as right. simple as a car seat, you right. know, depending on the needs of the family. Let's talk about the race itself. So where, okay. when, how, how we do it. It starts at 8. But yes. Where, uh, where so, are running? so it's Saturday, March 26th. It's located at um, Pinocchio's Pizza Playhouse, 117 Freebos Drive. The race route uh, for the 5K gives uh, goes down park um, across uh, West Side Extension and then into the neighborhood behind Pinocchio's and ends back at Pinocchio's. Um, so registration starts at 7 a.m. the morning oh, okay. of the race. If mm -hmm. you pre-registered, you come in and you grab your, your uh, bib and your t-shirt. Uh, if you want a race day register, you just come in anytime between 7 and 8, and you can uh, register for the race at that time. We have a one-mile fun run that starts at, one, uh, at 8 a.m., and then a 5K starts usually around 8.30, right, right after the fun run ends. Um, and it's a fun day. A lot of people kind of get intimidated when you see 5K race. Right. There's walkers, there's joggers, there's sprinters. You know, they have, uh, it's very, it's child friendly, it's pet friendly. A lot of strollers are out there. So it's, it's a fun day. We also have pastalaya being cooked. We're going to have Brooke Snowballs coming out with her trailer for all of the participants. Um, we're going to have a bounce house. Um, music playing, so it's, it's a fun little time, and it's a good way to spend Saturday mornings. Yeah, it's usually a good crowd, right? Yes, so we usually have a good crowd. And, and like I said, this time of year, it's one of those times where, every, especially the last couple of years, right? Yeah. But we've been indoors a lot, everybody's yes. ready to get out. We get a little bit of that for Mardi Gras. This is a good way during Lent to, to make sure you're still staying on that. <laughs> I'm still gonna diet during Lent, right? right? This is a great way to do it. Uh, so help me, how, would this Terrible in general get out of this deal? I know it's a, it's a great partnership, but Absolutely. So Terrebonne General and actually the foundation for Terrebonne General it fits perfectly with our mission. Um, our mission is primarily to help um, promote the health and wellness of our the community in general. And so encouraging people to come out to the event and to get physically fit and actually go and um, run the race and or walk the race, depending on which one you want to do. Um, it's it fits perfectly with us in terms of our mission. And and look, I mean, we are just coming off a pandemic, right? right. Where obesity is, is is a definitely it's a problem in the whole United States. Mm -hmm. It's really big in this area. So to promote physical fitness is also, I'm sure, a, a, a good way to go. Yeah, too. And, and that was actually one of the reasons why we chose to hold our fundraiser as a 5K event because. The, the two most important aspects of what we wanted to do was one to make sure that every every penny we raised from our events stayed in our community mm -hmm. did not leave our community stayed in our community and we wanted it to kind of promote a healthy lifestyle so the 5k was the perfect was the perfect option for our fundraiser yeah uh, no really good so um, how, how many people y'all expect we usually get uh, in the 200 sometimes we've topped 300 uh, which which is great um, you know, there's a bunch of walkers that come just to experience it. Uh, the one mile has a good group of people. And it's funny, you know, it's called a fun run. And, and people say, a one mile is a fun run? And that's not fun. But it's really, the kids go, it gives them a challenge, you know, because it gives the kids a good challenge to go a half mile out and get back, um, come back in to make the one mile. So it's, uh, yeah, we always have a great time. We have a lot of loyal 
a lot of loyal runners who come every year. If there's an opposing race, you know, in a different location, they generally uh, kind of flock towards ours. And a lot of sponsors that come to uh, that that's been with us since day one. Mm-hmm. And look, you can runner runners can do one in the afternoon, yeah. one in the morning. <laughs> we, you actually, know. we actually did that with the, uh, the the tunnel run one one year. Yeah, we were in the morning, they were in the afternoon, and everybody did both. Sure, yeah, yeah it's, it's a great way to do it. And like I said, they, these all lead up. You know, you got that one, you got the tunnel run over and under run. Uh, you end up you, in New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, the you race for Orleans, excellence. Yeah. You can do right. the Crest City Classic, which are all, all coming back this yep. year. Yep. And I think a lot of folks will, will be doing that as well. So uh, what if people want to just donate, help out, that kind of stuff? Can either go either way? Uh, probably through the Cooper Life Fund website. Uh, we have a donate button. There's a give um, option on the menu. Um, or on our Facebook page, they can just reach out to us. Uh, we super, uh, Cooper Life Fund Facebook page can re. Uh, reach out or if they want to send us an email info at cooperlifefund.org so there's there's multiple ways to get in touch with us and uh, all donations again stay right here in our community and are spent on the kids of the NICU yeah and uh, Nick you Elmi we were talking a little bit you might have six to eight kids in the NICU which is seems like a high census You're right on average we have about six to seven um, babies a, a day on, in the NICU and you had said that you weren't quite sure what NICU stood for right. so it's neonatal <laughs> right. intensive care unit um, I know we keep saying that word but yeah. I want to make sure people <laughs> right. understand and um, we have full-time um, neonatal ne- I'm terrible at that <laughs> <laughs> neonatal um, Natologist. Yeah, natologist. natologist. Right. Thank you. Um, actually, on staff in 24 hours a day to be able to help with the babies. So it's a it's a great um, it's a great service that we provide to the oh, community. It's unbelievable. Um, because it's it's just something that it's needed in our region. Let's just say that. And if you haven't been there, or seen this, it, first of all, it's scary. You know, mm-hmm. a child yeah. can yeah. be so it's small, so but then so motivational that they can get so much better and. 17 years later, 17 years your later, little man, yeah. you said he's passing you up. Now, uh, he's right? passing me up. He's almost as tall as I am, but uh, I still tell him that he can't take me down yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, my, my kids pass me. I just tell them the same thing. Although, Whether he can or can't. Yeah, yeah, it has yeah. to be while they're sleeping now. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, so, but anyway, no, this is a great event, and, uh, man, we appreciate it. And uh, so one more time, let's talk about how people can get you you know sign up right uh, come on uh race day registration is the only way to sign up right now so come to pinocchio's between 7 and 8 a.m on saturday morning this saturday the 26th sign up it's 25 dollars for the 5k 20 dollars for the one mile and all that money stays here in the community so come out have a good time well right, appreciate it Elmi and john thank you guys yes. so much yeah. we'll see y'all this week thank you so much all right we'll be back with more bayou time right after this